Gorman de Senza is a virus that is feared by the elite and wealthy of Oddworld. While never mentioned in-game, the disease was created by Lorne Lannin and senior game designer Paul O'Connor with the concept of being a fatal disease that specifically plagues only the extremely rich of Oddworld. As a result, it is immensely feared by the Glockens, and quite rightly so. The Queen Glocken, Lady Margaret, has a family history with the disease, with her great-grandmother long being infected with it and kept only alive by being cryogenically frozen for over a century laying dormant while Margaret operates the Magog cartel for her, waiting for a cure to be made so she can finally be released and rule over as the true empress of her economical empire once more. You thought Moloch was bad? Oh no, you thought Margaret was the worst? You ain't seen nothing yet. The Vikers conglomerate and various associations have been hard at work researching the cure for Gorman Desenza for a long time. Research funded by the funds of Queen Margaret's great-grandmother and the Magog cartel, of course. And they believe that there is a cure to be found in the blood of gabbits. First their eggs, then their lungs, now their blood. The poor things can't catch a break, can they? Yet another reason why the gabbit race is all but extinct. You'd have thought the Magog cartel or the Vikers or someone would have been keeping an eye on the Gabbit population to ensure that they were bred and didn't die out. It would have been far more profitable for them in the long term to do this. But no, they just went and decided to research and butcher all of them until there are hardly any left. That was very smart of them. I bet Lady Margaret's great-grandmother would be extremely happy about that. I feel like she needs a name. I don't think she officially has been given a name, so I'm just going to completely make one up now and refer to her as the Empress. Which, as far as I know, that's not even her title, but whatever, I just like the sound of it. But I'm probably not even going to use it again. It has been rumoured that the disease actually comes from gabbit blood, which potentially might be why the Vikers think it might have something to do with creating a cure for it as well. But also, it's very bizarre to have a disease that only affects someone based on their wealth. You know, that doesn't happen in the real world, and it's just such a fascinating concept. So if this idea that the disease originates from Gabbit's blood is true, it makes me wonder, what if people get it from eating Gabia, Gabbit's eggs? Only the extremely wealthy can afford Gabia, and therefore they're the only ones that would be consuming it in great quantities over a long period of time. Therefore, it makes sense that that's where Gorman Desenza emerged from, and that's why it's generally only the rich and the elite that get it. Just a theory, anyway, that I think makes a lot of sense, in my opinion, personally. There's actually relatively quite a bit of information about the creation out of universe of Gorman de Zenza. The disease was inspired by the way you get ill rich people that don't let their children have their inheritance, and instead use that money to fund research to try to cure what they're dying of and prolong their life. Lorne was inspired by this perceived greed, hence why the disease is called Gorman Desenza. It's Gorman, as in like Gorman dies, or to gorge yourself. Desenza just sort of is like a combination of disease and influenza. It just sounded like a word that would be a disease. In a designer diary during the development of Oddworld Munch's Odyssey, Paul O'Connor suggested that Munch might be able to get the disease, though I think he may just have been using it as an example of something to show how something may affect the game in one level and how this would carry over to the next and it may not necessarily have been ever possible for Munch to get it, it's just something I thought I'd mention. Apparently Lord Lannin said that Gorman de Senza would have played a very big role later in the Oddworld Quintology, such as in Oddworld Squeak's Odyssey which suggests to me that Lady Margaret's great-grandmother was to finally be awoken from her sleep. As she has such a short amount of time to live, she's only ever released from cryo-freeze when something bad is happening to her businesses, causing them to stop making profit and lose money, like, say, a slave uprising that destroys multiple factories in the process. As a result of just the fact that she only gets woken up during such dire times, and plus that she's literally dying every second she's not frozen, you can be rest assured she's not happy whenever she has to come in and handle things herself, because her descendants have screwed things up. And I wouldn't be surprised if that plays an element in, maybe not Oddworld Soulstorm, but somewhere down the line. This is ultimately one of the things of what Oddworld is about, arguably. So that was a little bit about the disease that strikes fear in the elite and upper class of Oddworld, and I wouldn't be surprised if Gorman de Senza plays an important role in the downfall of the Magog Cartel in future Oddworld games. Hello, follow me.
Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> 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 